Hello everybody and uh, welcome back. I am I, I'm Scott. If you're coming back to see me, I appreciate you coming back to see me. And if this is your first time watching me, welcome. Uh, this is Escape Art by Scott. And uh, uh, hopefully uh, my little videos here will help you out. This is a very quick way on, on how to paint. Uh, paint my way. I don't get too technical with things. So uh, let's get on. Let's get with it. Uh, this is a, a 16 by 20 canvas I have up here, and of course, as you can see, it's a black canvas. And uh, you know, black canvases are nice when you are doing a, a background that's going to have a lot of shadows in it. You know, you know, a deep wood scene. And this is what this is going to be. Um, I'm going to have some lighted areas and uh, and some trees and uh, things like this. Um, also, I just found out from my son that uh, uh, hit that like button for me. Uh, I understand if you hit that like button it, you know that's a way, good way to spread my videos around so if you would uh, spread it for me hit that like button. Alright uh, um, this canvas right here like I said is a 16 by 20 and I have it horizontal this is a when you have a horizontal like this the way I understand it this is a, a landscape format okay However, if I have a vertical up and down, that would be a, a portrait type a canvas. So it's portrait this way, landscape this way, okay? That's the way I understand it anyway. Oh, I, I'm, I'm just full of with education today, I am. I'm just, I'm just full of it. And uh, I've been told I've been full of other things too, but I won't get into that. All right, let's go with it. Got my canvas ready. And uh, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I just had to put out a little bit more by paint. I've got to put out some paint. And uh, I got my brush here that I'm going to use. And right here, if you can see that all right, that's a good shot there. See how evenly that is throughout the brush. It's not just one blob of paint on the brush. And that's the that's what you need. And uh, let me go ahead and. Wet this down a little here. It makes the application of this acrylic paint uh, a little smoother. The oils, you don't need this, of course. The water, because oils, it's slick anyway. It, it goes on really easy. So, uh, I want to go over here this time. Let's come right over here. And what I have on here is some blue paint. This is uh, Thalo Blue I got in, in acrylic. Let's come right up here. Yeah, that old blue, that old water makes this paint uh, go on so much easier. And just hit that sky area a little bit with the blue. Now you can't really sh see this because this is a black canvas, so you can't really see that blue uh, paint until. I come up here with some white. Okay, I got me some white paint on a, a little brush right here. And you come right up here, right into the blue area. And all you do is just come up here. And then once you hit it with that white, that blue will just pop right on out, as you can see. get me a bigger brush. Alright, I got me a, a, a bigger brush to do this with. That would have took me all day to get that in there. And just dipping back into some more white paint. Let's come over here, hit some little spots over here. Now all these little spots that I'm doing uh, will not show up. Some will show up. And let me just water this down just a little bit right through here. Because I'm going to have it uh, a whole bunch of uh, trees up in here. And it's something like this here. Now I want to come right back into some yellow ochre. And I want this kind of a, a hazy uh, morning uh, uh, painting. I'm going to try to make it a little hazy. 
I'll come right back up here with some yellow, yellow ochre. And this kind of looked dull us down this a little bit with some yellow. Here and I want to continue on with this here, and I'll be right back. Okay, all right, I got all this in uh, what I wanted. Now I want to come back with some uh, green. I want to start putting in some grass right here. Okay, and all this is is some sap green and some white mixed into it. And let's see here. Let's go right about here. Let's start putting in some grass. And all you're doing right here is just tapping. And you don't really need to worry about putting in any uh, a dark color on top of your grass or putting in your dark color and then your grass on top of the dark color because you already got your black canvas here. And that's already done for you. So use that. This is where you can put in your the lay of the land, how the land flows. Or you want some hills or whatever. I do that. And all I'm doing is, is tapping. And this is the size of brush that I'm using right here. Uh, this is a uh, two inch brush. And if you would, at the end of the video, I'm going to go over uh, some of my, uh, not every thing that I have, all of my equipment here. Uh, but, uh, uh, but I will go over the majority of it. And just to let you know what kind of brushes that I use to paint these things here. So I want to continue on uh, with this right here. And uh, I'll be right back. I got all my grass in here now the way I want it. I started, you know, with the lighted air right here. And then I, as I'm working left, it gets darker and darker. Because this is the source of my light right here. So, as you know, as you're moving away from the light, you know, it gets darker, okay? Now I'm going to start putting in some trees up in here. And this is the brush I'm going to use for that. See, it's cornered. A little corner is on a diagonal, I guess you want to call it. And that's the only thing I'm painting with. That's a good shot right there of uh, how you load your brush. That that corner piece, the little corner up here, that's the only thing that's going to be touching this up here, okay? And, that, and that's how you do it. Well, that's how I do it. And uh, let's see here. And you just come up here and you just start putting in your leaves. Now, when you do your lighted area, do it kind of big like I did. Because once you start putting in your leaves, it's going to close in that lighted area. So if you have a small lighted area to begin with, you start putting in your trees, there's a good chance you're going to cover up all your light. And you don't want that. And you just come in here, make all kind of leaves with your uh, brush. And you know what? You want to brighten up your leaves. Just dip it in some white paint. And it certainly will brighten it up. Again, as you're moving away from your lighted source, and your leaves over here should be dark. Let's put some up here.
I'm going to continue on with this and uh, and I'll be right back, all right? All right, I'm back, guys, and I have covered up all my, my background here with some nice uh, some leaves here. The two things I wanted to point out to you is that when you're doing this and you got your black canvas, you don't need to come back with some a dark color and then go over it with some highlight because, again, your black canvas will take care of that. I don't know how many videos I have seen uh, where the artist is has a black canvas and they come back with some black paint of some kind or a mixture of, of whatever and they put it on a black canvas and then they come back and uh, you know cover up with some highlight you know I don't understand it because the black paint ain't gonna show up on a black canvas it, it just ain't gonna do it so uh, let this black canvas work for you, okay? When you're putting in your leaves, don't put in no black color. You know, your dark color is what you use for your shadows in your trees. If you look at a tree, it's not all green. You got little dark areas in there. You know, for the little birdies and everything, the little critters can fly in and out. You know, the squirrels and such things, okay? And that's, a, that's one thing. Another thing is that don't cover all your black areas. Leave some of them open, okay? Don't cover the whole entire canvas with, with highlights because you just ruin the entire painting. Your painting will look flat. You know, this way, you, if you have your dark areas, well, then, you know, it gives your painting some distance into your painting. Okay, nothing like this area right here. I, I did that on purpose. I don't know if you can see that or not. But uh, this is uh, the dark area. I did it on purpose. This area right here, I left them. And I was coming in here with some bushes and everything, and, and I seen that spot. That was a good little dark area, so I left it alone. So you know, uh, don't cover up entire canvas with highlights. All right, enough on that. Now uh, let's come back and let's start putting in some uh, tree trunks. And now I'm going to go and mix me up a mixture. Awesome uh, tree color, tree trunk color, and I'll be right back. Right, I'm gonna put me some nice little tree trunks in here to hold up all these leaves. And this is the brush I'll be using. Here is the dark side, and there is the light side. All right, so of course the light side's over here. Let's start over here, and let's start making the light side going toward the lighted area, of course, right? Here we go. And all you're going to do is just make a little, little tree trunk here. And put some limbs. Just uh, continue on with making the tree trunks. Now, you know, some artists, they come in here and they put in their tree trunks and their limbs and everything, right? Then they come back and, and put in all of their, uh, you know, their highlights and everything. And all the tree trunks and the limbs and the sticks and the twigs and all, they covered it all up. And I, I really don't understand, you know, why they uh, do that. Uh, you know, I don't know. It's just a waste of paint to me. But you cannot argue with the final result because they're paintings, you know, very nice paintings. And just, I, I'm not going to waste all my time putting in tree trunks and, and limbs and everything when I know I'm going to cover them all up. So my way, put in the trees and I'll come back in with your tree trunks. And I'll come back uh, uh, when I get done with this. Again, I did a mixture of uh, some black, ivory black and some brown and, and uh, some uh, yellow ochre I put in there. This is a little mixture of some tree trunk. You mix it up however you want to. As long as it looks, you know, a color of a tree trunk. I mean, 
You don't want no pink on your tree trunk, right? Okay, let's get real, guys. So, however you want to do it, again, I'm painting, and it's not brain surgery we're doing here. Okay, it's you know, lots of fun and, and, and painting and a lot of excitement and everything, but you know, it's not serious. You, you know, you're not doing no operation, you're not doing a kidney transplant here. So, uh, don't take it too serious. You know, play around with it a little bit. And, uh, but anyway, enough on that. I'm going to put my tree trunks in here, and I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm done putting in my tree trunks, and I'm going to call this a complete. And I'm going to come back and just uh, go over a few things with you. These trees, I wanted these trees, some of these trees to be in front, some in back. So all you got to do is that you, when you want to show a tree that's in front of another one, the bottom of the tree trunk, just bring that down, bring it down farther than the one that's right next to it. And it gives that illusion that this tree is in front of this tree. And so is this one right over here. This is in front, this is the next one, and so on. And, and that's how you do that. Just bring the tree trunk down further than the, the other ones if you want to show a tree in front of another tree. Alright? And again, uh, when you're doing that, make sure that when you, when you get done with your tree trunk, come back and put some grass beneath his feces because that's that's the completed tree and, and that's how and, and that's um what you need to do because uh, if you do that if you don't do that the tree looks it's gonna look like it's just sitting on top of the grass and we don't want that we want it to be sitting in the grass in the ground so just remember when you're coming down with a tree put some grass right below it okay and just cover up the bottom of that tree trunk and it'll look more natural to you okay and the same one over here uh, I came down with some trees the tree trunk and I just put some grass right below it and it actually it will sit in in the ground okay I don't know how the way I can explain it but uh, that's what you need to do so uh, I'm done with the painting here I hope you like it uh, try this one. Anyone can do this paint now. Anybody can do this. This is not very hard at all. Okay, very limited colors. And uh, very, but you, know, you put your tree trunks in just right. And, and all, and it's very, it's a very nice painting. Easy painting, but it's a very nice one. So, like I said it before, I'm going to go over some of my equipment that I use. And first uh, thing I believe I'll go over is my palette here. It is an acrylic uh, a palette here, a plexiglass, whatever you want to call it. It's not made out of wood. So, and what I do, I put some uh, saran wrap around, cling wrap rather, around this. I did not think it was going to do any good, but uh, it really does the purpose of this. And then when you get done with your painting, and you can paint several paintings on this, and when you when it's, it's all covered with paint. Just take it off and throw it in the garbage, right? You don't have to worry about all that cleaning up. And I hated doing that. You know, cleaning up after I get done painting. So, um, there's that. Now I want to talk about some of my brushes here. And, uh, you know, I'm doing this because a, a buddy of mine uh, uh, sent me a little message, you know, go over some of the equipment. So, uh, this is for him. And for everyone else, okay? Here, here's a brush that I like using to make my trees. Right there is the corner where I like to put my uh, the tree, the leaves in. And here's just a regular old two inch brush here. It, it just square right across. This would be good, you know, to put in your grass. And, and that's what I did. And also you can use the corner also to make uh, trees and limbs and, and such things. Now, I know some folks will get, get get mad at me for saying this, but you know it is true. These two brushes I got here, I got these are from a hardware store, and these are not what you would call artist type brushes. They are synthetic. They're not natural hair. Natural hair meaning you know pig hair, horse hair, all kind of hair. It's real hair. Those what I use for my old paints. These right here are 
synthetic polyester and whatever else that there is for synthetic brushes and that's what I use for acrylic uh, the way I understand it is that the acrylic will ruin the natural hair brushes so uh, they say I googled it and it, the way I understand it use synthetic type brushes for your acrylic paints enough on that so yes I did get these from uh, a hardware store and I painted that okay so you leave it up to you and they're only cost me I don't know four or five dollars or something like this at the hardware store now I got these brushes here from, from my actual uh, craft store and you can see this one here is cut at an angle and this one right here is just cut right across now this is probably about an inch and a half or so not quite two inches but about an inch and a half the same thing as this one here I got these at a, uh, a local uh, arts and crafts store it's about an hour away from my house a place called Hobby Lobby and, and that's I don't know where you live at but that's kind of a big thing here around where I live as the craft stores go is you know Hobby Lobby and uh, and that's about it what's what all I wanted to show you well here we go here's some I just got some knives some uh, palette knives now I've had these for many years and I got these uh, from Hobby Lobby also and uh, hold on just a second all right I'm back has knees but anyway uh, the palette knives they can do lots of things for you um, mountains specifically to do mountains and this is a uh, bigger knife than this one right here I'll show you both of them oh there's that one here and here's the bigger one well, that's a smaller one here and that's the bigger one there you go there and this is here is just something I picked up uh, uh, is another palette knife there's all type of shapes of palette knives out there that you can get uh, that takes a little skill to work these knives just right so practice get yourself some what I would suggest is to get some uh, what do you call it uh, canvas board they're, they're cheaper than actual canvas there are it's canvas board it's canvas material on a very stiff uh, cardboard type substance I guess you want to call it and it's very good it's good enough to practice on actually I have done a couple paintings they say don't do them don't do an actual painting on these canvas boards but I did it and it seems to be holding up pretty well but the thing is that when you're going to do a painting actual painting on a canvas board you need to keep that board flat don't have it up at an angle because it will uh, bubble it will bend very easy and it will keep that shape so um, keep it flat on a table or if you want to hang it up fine whatever you want to do but just don't leave it on an angle sitting and drying or whatever right because it will bend right there and you don't want that but they're very good for to you know just practice on and uh, well, that's what I suggest everyone to do uh, you know especially your beginners you know like I had to I had to practice you know, a whole lot I went through a whole bunch of paints and some you know canvases before you know I got it right and I'm still learning been painting for about 13 years now or so and I'm still learning I still make mistakes but I, I've learned you know to catch my mistakes and to work from those mistakes I turn a mistake you know something bad I'll turn it into something good and uh, you know so um, enough on all that I tried this painting now hit that like button for me guys you know share my videos and I hope you really like it. now if you don't like my videos if you like to see something else you know send me a little message uh, let me know what you want to see and I'll try to paint it along with this landscapes you know I don't do portraits I don't do animals or anything like this here it's just just the uh, you know nature scene landscape scenes now in my next video I'm thinking about doing a, a seascape. I have not done one uh, one for you yet. Uh, seascapes, I'm still learning a little bit about that because, you know, like I said before, 
I don't do, when I paint, I'm not looking at nothing. I'm doing it just strictly from my thoughts on canvas. And, and that's the way I paint. And seascapes, I can't really get it in my mind what a seascape ought to look like. And, you know, I have done seascapes in the past. But uh, I'm still, you know, learning a little bit here and there what a seascape should look like. So, uh, all right, well, I'm going to let you go and, uh, again, try this. And uh, until next time, you know, take care of yourselves. Hit that like button, guys. Help me out. My last video I did was six days ago, and I got a whopping four views on it. Now, my videos on my probably are not the best thing on the market today. I know it ain't. But, you know, I think it's better than four views in six days. There's folks out there within an hour to getting 7,000 views. Some people are getting hundreds of thousands of views. How are they doing that? I don't know. But, uh, <clears throat> again, hey, take care of yourself, guys. And I'll be back with a, another video shortly. Again, uh, it might be a seascape, it might not. So bear with me on that. Come back and see me. Take care.